Hawaii is often called the land of enchantment. It is a place where paradise meets earth, a very special place in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. Known for its pristine beaches, vibrant culture, and breathtaking landscapes. But behind its peaceful surface lies a world of mysteries and unanswered riddles. In February 2015, this island paradise witnessed an event that interrupted the Hawaiian calm and left the community with questions. Dalen Mokepua was an 18-year-old senior student at the Hawaiian Immersion School, Kulo'o Ihuna Ikamalino, located in Kealakahua on the Big Island of Hawaii. He had a deep passion for culinary arts and planned to attend culinary school after high school. A native of South Kona, Dalen was part of a close-knit family consisting of two siblings who studied at the same school. Besides his academic ambitions, Dalen was known for his love of photography and nature, spending his free time hiking, swimming, and exploring the beaches. During an excursion to Oahu in February 2015, he stayed with his grandmother, Martha Bear, in Weianai, exploring the island and spending time pursuing his hobbies. Dalen told Martha that he planned to hike alone in Moanalua Valley Park on the morning of February 27, 2015. His intention was to climb the Haiku Stairs, also known as the Stairway to Heaven. This stairway has around 3,922 steps and leads to the top of the Ko'olau mountain range. Originally, the stairway was built during World War II for military purposes. Contractors built the Haiku radio station for the U.S. Navy in 1942, a top secret location to send radio messages to Navy ships in the Pacific. Antennas were stretched across the valley, and a wooden ladder was used to access the location. In 1943, the station became operational. After the naval station was deactivated in the 1950s, the site was used by the U.S. Coast Guard to install the Omega Navigation System. The Stairway to Heaven is famous for its breathtaking views, but it also has become a source of controversy because of legal and safety concerns. The stairway was officially closed to the public in 1980 due to dangerous conditions and the risk of environmental damage. That has come up more and more recently. Hikers trespassing to reach the closed Stairway to Heaven trail. Still, hikers and adventurers continued to climb the staircase illegally attracted by the challenge and beauty of the environment. Martha was surprised by Dalen's plan and warned him that the area was off limits to the public. She emphasized that it was illegal for anyone to climb the stairs, including him. Martha hoped her grandson would take her advice and abandon his plan, but Dalen was determined to take on the adventure. On February 26th, Dalen shared a message on Facebook about his plan. He wrote, Stairway to heaven, hiking this insane hike tomorrow. Wish me luck. Friends had warned him under the message about the dangers of the trip. In early February 2015, the haiku stairs suffered significant damage from a landslide that damaged parts of the stairs. Despite the threatening warnings from Martha and concerned friends, Dayland remained steadfast in his decision to undertake the dangerous hike to the haiku stairs. On February 26, 2015, Dalen took the bus to Moanalua Valley Park and started his hike. On social media, he shared a message saying, and the hike begins, hashtag haiku. While enjoying the beautiful green surroundings, he occasionally sent photos to his friends and loved ones. The last photos were sent that same morning on Thursday, February 26, at 11 a.m. Then, he suddenly disappeared from all communication lines. His missing was not reported to authorities until the next morning, leading to questions about the 24 hours that had passed since his last contact. This period of uncertainty created several speculations about the investigation into his disappearance. On February 27th, an extensive search was launched. Several organizations, including the Honolulu Police Department, the Honolulu Fire Department, and other local firefighters, the U.S. Navy, drone pilots, and volunteers were involved in the search for Dalen in the area around the Haiku Stairs. At the time of his disappearance, Dalen was wearing a white long-sleeved t-shirt, 
black surf shorts, and flip-flops. Authorities suspected that he successfully climbed the haiku stairs, but was unable to descend safely. At the time of the search, it was raining hard, making climbing the haiku stairs difficult and the surrounding steep areas nearly impossible. Helicopters searched the Haiku Valley area with Dalen's father aboard, calling his name above the sound of rotor blades. In the days that followed, as the search continued, Dalen. concrete evidence or clear clues as Dalen. to Dalen's whereabouts remained absent. The community remained hopeful, and the news of his missing continued to spread. Well, after four days of looking for missing teen hikers, search teams say they have no new clues. As a result, their search is over for Dalen Pua. On Monday, March 2nd, the fire department search was extended to the next day after two hikers heard someone screaming for help. Despite all efforts, no concrete evidence or clear clues could be found indicating where he was or what had happened to him after he shared his last known photos and messages on the day of his disappearance. After a final search, the Honolulu Fire Department suspended the search at 4.44 p.m. on Tuesday, March 3rd. On March 4th, 2015, sailors from Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron 37 received a rare request from the Federal Aviation Administration to use their eyes and helicopters during the search. We are trained for maritime search and rescue techniques, and that can translate to doing overland searches said Commander Bran Bickle, the commanding officer of HSM-37, who piloted one of the searches. The area around the Haiku Steps offers limited landing opportunities for helicopters, which can present logistical challenges for search and rescue operations. If a person is found in distress, it would be necessary to immediately lower a crew member down with a hoist to perform the rescue due to the inaccessibility of the terrain. The area is also characterized by strong winds, making both flying conditions and rescue operations more dangerous and difficult. The site's rugged and dangerous terrain, including high voltage power lines, also poses additional risks and technical hurdles for rescue teams. A total of six hours were flown for the search. Lieutenant Colonel Brian Bernadine who was also a pilot during the search and maintenance officer on the HSM-37 said, We had flown for quite a while. It was frustrating to come back empty-handed without finding the hiker. After an extensive search, the official search for Dalen Pua was suspended on March 4th. Friends and family had used social media in hopes of drawing more attention to his disappearance. A GoFundMe campaign was also launched. They were not giving up yet. They continued to search the area in an attempt to find Dalen, but unfortunately, without success. Dalen's body was never found to this day. After all these years, it's still not clear what exactly happened to him, but two main theories have emerged over the years about what exactly might have happened to him. The first theory, an unfortunate accident. Considering how dangerous the stairway to heaven is, many speculate that Dalen had an accident. The history of the Haiku Stairs has many accidents and dangers that have occurred there over the years. The stairway's bad reputation was compounded by a landslide that caused significant damage to the staircase shortly before Dalen's planned ascent. During this landslide, five hikers had to be rescued because they were cut off. This made the terrain extremely unstable. By 1987, the stairway was already closed to the public after parts of the metal steps and ramps replaced the wooden stairs in the mid-1950s. But that did not stop adventurers from entering the path, often with risky and sometimes fateful consequences. The second theory, a mystery man. This case initially appeared to be a hiking accident, a tragic accident in dangerous terrain. But the story that Dalen Pua may have been the victim of something much more evil is also circulating. This theory was supported by the last images Dalen left behind. The family carefully researched his photos in an effort to learn more about his whereabouts. One photo seemed to illustrate Dalen's progress while capturing another individual on the trail. In this photo, they discovered a man hiding in the bushes, just visible in the background of the landscape. They speculated that this mysterious person might have been following Dalen. 
While some thought it could be just the surroundings, others insisted it was a person standing near the stairway to heaven. The Honolulu Police Department decided the picture provided enough clarity and sent out a Crime Stoppers alert requesting information about this person. A Reddit user claimed that his friend, who accidentally appeared in the photo, was the person in the photo. However, this claim has never been confirmed by authorities. Another Reddit user told of his mother and her boyfriend, who had reported seeing lights on the mountain. This was the night before Dalen was reported missing. At the time, they had no idea it could have been Dalen until they alerted authorities the next day. The report claimed that the authorities' response made them feel ignored and neglected. The search for Dalen, initially abandoned by the Honolulu Fire Department after three days, caused general discontent. However, the search was continued with renewed urgency after reports from hikers who had heard sounds of someone calling for help on the fourth day after his disappearance. The U.S. Navy joined the operation and deployed advanced technology, such as infrared cameras, to search the foggy hills. Although rescue efforts focused primarily on the haiku stairs, some witnesses suggested that he may have wandered off the trail. This claim was supported by two other hikers, who stated that they had heard cries for help coming from the forest. In addition, Photographs seem to suggest that Dalen may have taken the Moanalua Trail instead of reaching the Haiku Stairs. These hikers, who started their hike about 20 meters from the Kuala Nahani Trail, reported a sudden cry for help during a quiet moment in the storm. The proximity and urgency of the cry, which seemingly came from a lower position with no echo, was so disturbing that they immediately called 911, as did their friends who were about 50 meters away. They were determined to find the source of the cries and planned to revisit the same ridge the next day. Describing the exact location where they heard the cries and the direction from which the voice came proved to be a difficult task because of the complex terrain. According to several sources, the city has selected a contractor to remove the haiku stairs in the year 2023. According to the $2.5 million contract, in addition to the haiku stairs, the Moana Lua saddle stairs will also be addressed. The friends of Haiku Stairs oppose the removal and advocate access management requiring people to apply for permits. In addition, they filed a lawsuit against the city in August 2023 to prevent removal of the stairs, but the case was dismissed. The tragic story of Dalen Mokepua still raises questions about what exactly happened to him. The disappearance remains an unsolved case, and it is a reminder of the dangers of adventure hiking in dangerous terrain such as the Haiku Stairs. The hope for answers remains, even after all these years.